One of the things that I really enjoy about being at Fox is to be able to accompany my students on Juniors Abroad, so we get to go to Europe. And I think it's the most amazing thing when for the first time you get to visit a castle or a Roman site or something like that and realize that it's real, it's not some kind of a reproduction or thing the way it would be in the United States. There's a Roman wall just as you come off of the tube station at the Tower of London. And I always make my students go and put their hands on it. They line up and everybody touches this Roman wall that most people that at the tube stop are just walking by as if it's not at all interesting. But it's been there for 2,000 years. So I just love to be able to have that be one of the first things we do is to all touch a wall that's from Roman times. My name is Caitlin Cording. I'm a professor of history. I chair the Department of History and Politics and I oversee the university's museum. I love history because it is fascinating. I find people very interesting and to an extent history is a little bit of a kind of study abroad. You get to learn about people from all kinds of different cultures. It's also, I think, fascinating to be able to piece together the events and things in the past that help to tell a story. So the past is kind of anything that's ever happened, but history is the piecing together of clues and connections and cause and effect to be able to explain what happened and why. And I find that a very fascinating process. As an undergraduate, I went to Seattle Pacific University and I found that a very transformative and amazing experience. So I wanted to be able to teach at a Christian university as well. And I was very lucky just as I was finishing up my uh, PhD that a position opened here at Fox and I was able to come here 27 years ago. So in thinking about Fox and why students may choose to come to Fox, I do think that be known promise, which you may hear too many times, but it is real. One of the nice things is that even the classes that we consider very large in terms of the number of students in it are still very small for many of the public schools. And so it's it's wonderful to be able to get to know my students much better than I might be able to if I had 400 students in a big freshman level section. In my classes, I hope that students learn first that history may not be as boring as they think, that it actually is really fascinating. But I think history also is a way to really practice empathy because you have to try to learn from people who are very different than you, who have different experiences. And so I think it's this very interesting thing of really trying to have that empathy to understand things from their point of view, to be able to link those events and things together um, in a way that helps us to understand those in the past. But I think it also helps us to understand those in the present as well. 